I'm Georgia Verity here at Shoreditch Platform for 1883 Magazine with Cub Sport. So guys, tell us more about Bat, which is your latest album at the moment. Tell us about the inspiration behind it and how you wrote it. Well, I wrote it over the course of a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, the first songs that I wrote on it were um, in 2015. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, I kind of was just working away at home recording my own demos. And um, yeah, by the time we were ready to release another album, I had this collection of songs there. And yeah, it's um, throughout the time of writing it, we both came out as gay and uh, entered a relationship together. And yeah, so it kind of follows the journey of, I guess, coming to terms with like my sexuality mm -hmm. and... But how is it being in a relationship and then working together? Because you seem, you seem very, very like, obviously confident together and happy, you know? It's, yeah, it's pretty perfect. perfect. Do you ever <laughs> argue about the music or, you know, no, ideas? I don't think we've ever had an argument. No? no. no. That's good. You're also wearing your t-shirt for that. Yes. So that's from the merchandise and you can find that on your website, right? That's right. Yes, you can. So tell me more about your merchandise. Like, do you design that like as, you know, together yeah. or do you the have a designer? The four of us sort of, um, sort of collaborate mm -hmm. and we have a rule that if we wouldn't wear it ourselves, we, we won't produce it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a bit on the go at the moment actually mm -hmm. for the upcoming tour we're producing some new stuff. Yeah. Um, Can we just see a little bit closer? <laughs> <laughs> Pop your chest. <laughs> no, it's really cool. Where are you on the band mates? Are they back in Australia? Zoe is yeah. back in Australia. Mm -hmm. Dan is in Panama. Okay. Let's talk about good guy. So do you do majority of writing for the band? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And that cool. song's all about unrequited love and obviously giving love to somebody that isn't quite reciprocating it, mm. which is an experience we all go through in life. Um, so yeah, tell me more about that. Was that about you two or? Uh, it was actually more about like hearing about my friends' relationships right. mm -hmm. and kind of just watching a lot of like, my female friends kind of just go unappreciated yeah. and I, yeah, I had been reading a bit about like emotional labour and mm -hmm. I guess it's like a concept that is like there but until you sort of have a name for it and can actually like identify it, it's sort of hard to like pin down exactly what that is mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I guess that was sort of the inspiration. I think it's such a thing of our generation, isn't it? Like with Tinder and everything like that, mm. like it's just so, you can move on so quickly yeah. from people. So I'm sure it will resonate obviously with a lot of people listening to it. But you guys are also playing London Waiting Room in May. Are you excited for that? Yes. 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 It's our first headline show in London. Wow. So super excited. So you're going to get to know all of the London crowd as well. Yeah. <laughs> but if you weren't musicians, what else would you be doing? By day, I am a dental hygienist. Nice. So I guess that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. You yeah. have good teeth, though. Thanks. <laughs> and I made it halfway through a dentistry degree before dropping out to do music. Guys, please make me a retainer. I'm having problems <laughs> with my bottom set. I'm not joking. Come to Brisbane. I'm going to come to Brisbane for my retainer and my merch. Just before we wrap up, guys, I was wondering if you could teach me some Australian slang words sure. that we don't have in London. <laughs> Let's have a little go. Right. Okay, go on then. I don't know. I say, we say we're fanging for stuff a lot. Like I don't even know if that's like a very Australian. Which does that mean? Like you're hungry. Um, just you want something. Like I'm fanging for a glass of water. And like, like that's what the kids, is that what the kids say in Australia? <laughs> it's just us, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm fanging for a glass of water. Yeah. And what, have you had any English slang? Like, do you know any English I'm slang? I'm sure I have. Do you know like, what have we got? We've got like, butters. Do you know? <laughs> if you call someone butters, that bet you mean like um, unattractive. But it's, it's kind of becoming like an old word, <laughs> word now, but you can bring it home to Australia. Okay. I'll take fanging and you can take butters with you. <laughs> I've been Georgia Verity here for 1883 magazine with the lovely Cub Sport. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks I hope you've enjoyed uh, the interview. Don't forget to check them out at the London Waiting Room on May the 9th. And remember, guys. Blondes do it better! <laughs>